Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. On the main stage, we're gonna make a trifle. We're gonna build it, really. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of making the custard and stuff. And you can do it anyhow you want. A little bit of fun building it up with the guys. Let's get on with it. Delicious. Okay, so we've got a nice trifle dish. Here's our first jelly. We're using a sour, sour cherry, I think this is. Is it sour cherry? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Might be raspberry. So that's in. And then we've got one can of uh, fruit cocktail. We're going to get that in now. Just sort of mix it about a bit. And that's the first layer of our terrific trifle. We've got to let that uh, jelly set now, or jello, whatever you call that. Might be a couple of hours. Okay, so that jelly set, it was like a couple of hours. Gonna put another one in now, green color. Jelly number two. I think this is actually called mojito. It sounds a bit odd. And then I'm gonna go again with the fruit. Fruit cocktail mix. And that goes, spread that around. And then again back into the refrigerator. Probably gonna be another couple of hours. So next thing that's gonna go in is these little biscuits. Ladies fingers. Got a bit of sort of sugar on the top. Sort of thing you make for a, sort of a tiramisu or something. Now, if you don't have this, you can use any form of cake. You could get some, you know, a slab of Madeira cake or something, chop that up and put it in. Or a Swiss roll. Um, I don't know if you know what a Swiss roll is, most people. It's kind of like a, either a chocolate or a vanilla cake with a kind of jam in it, which is rolled. So you get a nice kind of swirl in it. But yeah, some sort of form of cake, but I'm going to be using these. So along with those biscuits, I'm going to be using some custard. I've got some custard ready. Made that. Get it from a can if you want. Make it completely fresh if you want. Or there's a powdered version sort of stuff you can get. But you're going to need some custard. And regarding the biscuits, generally or usually, they're soaked in some sort of sort of alcohol like sherry or something like that. I'm not going to be doing that. Obviously, the kid's going to be eating this. I don't need to avoid any alcohol. But yeah, that's the next step. So it's going to be custard and the biscuits. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got two layers now of the jelly with the fruit in, it's set. What I'm gonna do now is I've got my custard here. I made this earlier, it's just nice and cold now. Now some people put tons of custard in. In fact, you know what, you, you can put in whatever you want. You can layer it exactly however you want. What fruit is up to you? Thick custard, two layers of custard, more jelly, more cream, different cake. Okay. Now all I need to do is just try and smooth that out so it just covers everything. Back in a moment. Let's get now those biscuits or cake, whatever you want to use. I don't know, I'm using these ladies' fingers. Look like men's fingers, if you ask me. That's great. And we can just break some bits in there, fill in those gaps, okay? But back in a moment, I'll just fill them in. So my biscuits are on top. Like I say, traditionally I think you'd put some sherry on it or something like that, or some sort of liqueur. We're not going to do that. What we are going to do though, is right here I've got some frozen strawberries. I think the frozen ones actually work better than fresh because we get a nice bit of juice out of them. So I've just sort of defrosted these down. I'm going to pop these in. Get them all over there. This looks incredible. And then as, as they defrosted, 
I've got a bit of juice out of them, you know. So I'm just going to get that on there. And that's going to go right into our biscuits. That's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to pop that back in the fridge for a bit. Better think about getting some cream on there. Okay, so we've got red jelly or jello with fruit, green jelly with fruit, custard, the biscuits, and those frozen strawberries. And what's happened is those strawberries, that juice has made those biscuits really soft now. You just saw me do the cream. So we're gonna get the cream off, we're gonna top it with that. It took a lot of beating, the cream, but we got there in the end. Moya, have you got your cups? Yes. <laughs> Right there, so, so we put it on pretty randomly, you know? And then we're gonna put a few little sprinkles on the top of this and some fresh fruits. I've got some kiwi and some orange slices. This is looking amazing. You're so lucky. When I was a kid, we never had trifle like this. What do you mean? <laughs> That is superb. Okay, next step. You really do have hiccups. Maybe some trifle will make you feel better. That's looking beautiful. They're called hundreds and thousands. Want to get some on? Yes. Sprinkle over everywhere. I've got chocolate ones, Axel. You want to put them on? Yeah. Okay, wait a second. Let me do this one. <laughs> she really has got the hiccups. Do you think if she had all that trifle, her hiccups would go? Maybe I would scare her. You'll scare her? Or drink water. Yeah, drink water backwards. Oh, like that. That looks fantastic, doesn't it, babe? Mm hmm. You ready for the chocolate ones? Yeah. Let's go. Maybe I'll eat them all. Maybe eat all of them. You need a handful of them. You don't want to do like, you need to do like this, look. Okay, do it like that, sprinkle it over. Okay, give me like this. Okay. And... You can't put one or two on at a time. Axum, have you made a whole trifle? Well done, man. Is it beautiful? Yeah. Are you eating them? <laughs> Just some of them. Okay, and there you go. There's our fantastic, beautiful, wonderful trifle. Hope you enjoy that. See you later. Thank you very much for taking time to watch our cooking videos. Hope you enjoy them. Lots going on. We've got a, a new vegan channel, which we're trying to promote at the moment. Just 100% vegan, so please check that out. Chef June started his own Filipino cooking channel. He's still going to be appearing here with me on how to cook great, but he started his own one. And we've got Rahel, who's doing great stuff on her Amharic or Ethiopian cooking channel. So if you're into either of those things or those three things, please check them out. The links might pop up here or they'll be down below. If you'd like to support the channel, which I really do hope you do, you can by buying us a cup of coffee. It's going to cost you a couple of dollars just follow the link, PayPal or wh wh whatever it is. Um, really, really would help us if you do that. I think that's about it. We're doing fine. We hope you're well. Subscribe to us. That helps us out a lot. Give us a thumbs up. We do like that. And more importantly, please do leave us a comment. We do like to hear from you and see what you're up to. That's it. Be safe. Be well. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.